Hello everyone, good morning. It's Mr. Abdurrahman is speaking to you. Mr. Abdurrahman is an English teacher from a Safa school department language. I will explain unit 14 from Oxford Discover Get Ready Words. Before we start this session, I need to ask you one question before we start. Why do we use money? Why do we use money? You have to answer about this question. Get ready words. Bank. 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 People save money by putting it in a bank. People save money by putting it in a bank. Currency. Currency. Currency is a system of money that a country uses. Currency is a system of money that a country uses. Coins. I counted all my coins and I had enough to buy a candy bar. I counted all my coins and I had enough to buy a candy bar. Porter. Porter. When people parter, they exchange goods without money. When people parter, they exchange goods without money. Copy. Copy. You can copy an essay or a, or a drawing on a photo, photocopier. You can copy an essay or a drawing and a, a photocopier. How many bells? Bell. Bell, bell. Is this a dark L? Bell. Uh. How many bells are there in your wallet? How many bells are there in your wallet? Uh, spend, <clears throat> spend. I don't want to spend too much money. I like to save it. I don't want to spend too much money. I like to save at Bay. Bay. Let's pay for our milkshakes. How much do they cost? Let's pay for our milkshakes. How much do they cost? Let's pay for our milkshakes. How much do they cost? Uh, borrow. 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 Can I borrow some money from you? I don't have enough. Can I borrow some money from you? I don't have enough. Exchange. Exchange. I would like to exchange this t-shirt for a different one. It's too big. I would like to exchange this t-shirt for a different one. It's too big. Oh. 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 How much do I owe you for the book you bought for me? How much? How much uh, do I owe you, uh, you, you for the park you bought for me? Oh. Oh. How much do I owe you for the park you bought for me? Land. Land. Can you lend me a little bit of money? Can you lend me a little bit of money? Can you lend me a little bit of money? The history of money. When did it all start? Between 10,000, 11,000, and 6,000 years ago, no one is completely sure when people started exchanging cows, sheep, camels, and crops to get the things they needed. This is called part. People part one thing for another thing. Here's how it worked in the beginning. Hi, I need some flour to make bread. You have wheat. 
what can we exchange? Well, I have cows. How about I give you a cow for a field of wheat? It's a deal. From shields and feather to coins. Around 3,000 years ago, people decided the shells were a good pot of money. But why? The answer is simple. Shells are beautiful. They are hot. And they don't break easily. So they last a long time. You can find shells everywhere. And that makes them precious. So shells became, became valuable. If people wanted something, they would give shells for for it. Other people decide the same thing with feathers. Feathers. Next, about two hundred years later, the first coin was invented in China. The coins were made out of metal. Nowadays, we have a small round, small round coin, but the but back then, they were made into different shape and different country. Later, people used the precious metal like gold and silver to make coins in later. Which, which is now part of country we call Turkey. A mixture of silver and gold was used to make coins. But guess what? Coins are heavy. If you had a lot of coins you, in your pocket all the time, that would, would make a hole. Printed money and par and paper money. About 1,200 years ago, the Chinese started to print money. But it wasn't paper money. They used leather from animal scans. It wasn't until 7th century that they decided to use paper at least at last the world had in the first paper currency the paper paper is light and easy to carry if you had paper money you wouldn't need so many coins strangely enough it took many more centuries for other countries around the world to start using paper money one of the problems with paper money was it that it was easy to copy. Early banknotes or pills were printed in black and white. People hold people 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 who could draw well could easily copy them. Now belts are careful they have they have complicated designs which are often pictures or portraits of people. And the metal threads, long thin lines that go across the belt that makes them very difficult for anyone to copy. Hey, how much are they? Are you beat? They're one piece of paper. What? That's great. Invisible money. We still have paper money and coins, but now we also pay for things electronically. Many people do their shopping online because you, now you can buy all the things you want on the internet. To pay electronically, we use plastic cards, including credit cards and a debit card. Using one of these cards, fill the bank, pay another person's store or restaurant, a restaurant, a restaurant for goods, goods or service. We can borrow money from the bank this way too. The bank lent us money for a certain amount of time, and we pay and we pay back what all them later. Maybe one day we we want needn't coins and will it at all. This uh, this page homework. A grammar in use. Grammar and news, we got, I will explain for you the sec. I will explain for you the second conditional. What does it mean if second conditional? The grammar F. When you study any grammar F, you have to know 
to something about this grammar, this grammar, how to use it, or how to make a sentence. The, the grammar and real conditional use uh, the, the unreal condition to come out saying is that are not possible now. Just imagine, all right, how to make a sentence, you can start F. After that, you put past simple. Past simple, you put verb in the past, all right? Uh, all right, if uh, I had, if I had enough money, I would, I would, or uh, this, uh, <clears throat> I would, I would buy a car. I would buy a car. It's imagine, it's an real, real situation, or that's really something, by the way, buy a car, because he, he don't have money, right? Have a car. Right, you the uh, something you can start F and past sentence in the past simple and you put verb in the past simple. The second sentence subject pronoun would after that a verb infinitive. All right, and uh, you can say you can say the first sentence would and the second sentence F. You can say I would buy a car. If I had enough money, when I put F in the first in the second sentence, we don't add, we don't put a comma, right? Like that. I would buy. I would buy a car. If I had. I had enough to had enough money, right? When you put the uh, F in the second sentence, don't add comma. And we put F in the first sentence, you have to put comma to a separate between the sentence. All right. And uh, after F, you put after past simple. Second sentence, subject pronoun and with with verb infinitive. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, like uh, if I had, like this example, we have to study this example. If I had a plane, I'd fly to Peru. Is this uh, if uh, we put after if plus simple the second sentence, uh. A subject pronouns uh, would with verb infinitive. When you see that I, you know, uh, the abbreviation, abbreviation, uh, like would, all right? Would. If I had a plane, I would or I'd fly to Peru. If I, if you had a plane, I'd, this, this the letter T abbreviation. Number uh, word would, all right. If I you had a plane, uh, I'd go with you, okay. <clears throat> and we uh when you make a negative, in the in the space symbol didn't right. All right. What is the sentence correct? If I have, no, 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 if I had, because we put, it's a second condition or recognition, imagine we put verb in the, in the past uh, sample, right? If my friend, if my friend, my friend could fly a plane, we would go with a nurse friend. If I won, or if I win, if I won, because in the second conditional we part after F, it's a past simple. 
ok the suffix what does it mean of the suffix the so suffix, su suffix is this uh, can be added at the end of the sound verb as a change to the verb and an adjective the suffix we put after at the end of the verb all right to change the verb and adjective like act all right act to show some play on the on the theater uh, act when we part suffix at the end of the verb to change the verb and adjective act when we part i v e suffix to change an adjective active all right create this is the verb when you put suffix at the end of the verb to change this word to adjectives. All right, like predict, predict. When you put this verb, when you put I V E to change the verb, to create this verb, when you put I V E suffix, a uh, adjective attract when you, this verb when you put suffix to change the meaning or the word to adjective it says when you this verb this verb like on like have when we put i v e at the end of the verb to change the meaning right it says it says it this adjective okay act active create this verb when you put suffix i v e the change and adjectives okay thank you for watching goodbye